Uh, good day all, uh, and my name is Joshua. Uh, the topic we are going to consider is construction. Now, we cannot just start construction. We have to start with the basic angles. But construction, we know it's a practical topic. It's practical. So, and the usefulness of, of construction is not, is you can we have it in different fields, like in engineering, construction of, construction of bridges. So the foundation starts here. So we are going to start with the basic angles. Now, I have decided to classify it into three. I have class A, 90, 180, 45, and 135. And I have class B, 60, 120, 30, and 150. Then class C is 75 and 105 degrees. Now, having done, having done this, we now move to locus. Now, in locus, we, now, we are supposed to know how to construct locus from two given points. Locus from a repeated point. Then we have locus from a fixed point. Now, let's see how we are going to construct our basic angle. So we are going to start with class A. Now in class A, we are going to start with angle 90 and 180 degrees. Now, first, what we are supposed to do, you draw your straight line, draw your straight line using your ruler and pencil. The next thing you do, you mark the point, mark the point. Having done that, you place your compass at the point you mark. Then you cut an arc right, cut an arc left. Then extend the radius of your compass. Then you place it here, place it here. You cut an arc, place it here, cut an arc. Now you discover that there is an intersection. Then you now mark, mark the intersection. Then the point you mark, you are going to use your ruler and pencil. You join, draw a straight line. Now you find out that this is angle 90. Degrees. So that is how we construct angle 90 degrees. Now, we know that sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. So angle 180 is this, 180 degrees. This side is 90, this side is 90. So but our angle 90 is this side or this other side. So that is how we construct angle 90 and 180. Now, let's move on. Let's go into angle 130, 135 and 45. Angle 135 and 45, we have 45 and 135 degrees. Now, first of all, we need to construct angle 90. So, in constructing angle 90, you draw your straight line. Next, you mark a point. Next, place your compass at the point you mark. Then you cut an arc right, left. Then extend the radius of your compass. You place it at this point. You cut an arc. Take it back here. You cut an arc. Now you discover that there is an intersection. You mark the intersection, then you now use your ruler. You use your ruler and join. This is our this is angle 90 degrees. Now next to get angle 45 degrees, you need to bisect angle 90. Now to bisect Angle 90, you place your compass at this place. Then cut an arc here. Then you cut an arc here. Then
Then extend the radius of your compass just a little. Then you take it back to this place. You cut an arc. Take it back here. You cut an arc. Now, mark the intersection. Mark the intersection. Then use ruler and join. Now, this is now angle 45 degrees. Now, we said that sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. So, if you are interested in angle 135, you use this. So, this is 135 degrees. So, we are now done with class A. Let's move on to class B. Class B. We are going to consider angle 60 and 120 degrees. Now, you now draw a straight line. Then, you mark a point somewhere here. Mark a point. Now, place your compounds your compound at this point, extend the radius of your compass, make sure it's a little bit wide. You place it at this point, look at what I'm doing, then you cut, stop on the line, the same radius, place it here, then you cut an arc, this way. So, then you now mark, mark the intersection, then you now use the ruler and join. So this is angle 60 degrees. Now, see the sum of angles on a straight line is 180. This angle here is 120 degrees. Now we are done with angle 60 and 120. Now, let's look at 30 and 150. Angle 30, 30 degrees and 150 degrees. Now, to construct angle 30, we we'll first of all construct angle 60. So, we draw a straight line. Then we mark the point. Now we place our compounds at this point. Then we cut an arc. We stop on the line. The same radius. Then we cut an arc here. Then we mark the intersection. Now, this is angle 60. Now, we need to bisect this angle because we are interested in angle 30 degrees. Now, to bisect angle 60, place your compounds at this point, cut and add this side, then you cut and add this side. Extend the radius of your compass just a little. Place it here, you cut and add. Take it to this place, cut an arc. Make sure there is intersection. Then, you now mark the intersection. You now use your ruler. Join. So, this is now angle 30 degrees. This is angle 30 degrees. This. Now, this angle is 150 degrees because some of the angle of the straight line is 180. So we are done with class B. Now let's move on to class C. Class C. Class C, which is on 75 degrees and 105 degrees. Now the steps. 
First, you need to construct angle 90. Then from 90, you remove 60. Then you are left with 30 here. Then you now bisect angle 30. This will give you 15 degrees. This will give you 15. Now you find out that 15 plus 60 will give you 75 degrees. So the first thing we are going to do is to construct angle 90. To construct angle 90, we draw a straight line. We mark the point. We place our compound at this point. We cut an arc this way. Cut an arc this way. We extend the radius of our compound. We place it here. We cut an arc. We take it back to this place. We cut an arc. Now we mark the intersection. We use our ruler, our pencil and ruler. Then we now join. This is angle 90 degrees. Now next, we now construct angle 16. Angle 16, the normal way. Angle 16. We stop on the line, the same radius. Place it here, then you cut an arc, that is angle 60, then we now, from this point, now join, now this is angle 60 degrees. Now, we are left with angle 30 here. So we are going to bisect 30 so that we can have 15. 15 plus 60, that will give us 75. Now to bisect angle 30, place your compounds here. Cut and add this side, cut and add this side. Extend the radius of your compound just a little. Then you place it here. Cut and add. Take it back to this place. Cut and add. Now we mark the intersection, then you now use your ruler. Okay. Make it long so that this is 15 degrees. 15 plus 60. So the whole of this is angle 75 degrees. And we know that sum of angle on the straight line is 180 degrees. So this angle from this place to this is 105 degrees. Now, that is all for class B. So we are now done with the basic angles. So other angles you can just copy them. Like angle 20, you can just copy using protractor. Now, let's move on to numbers. Now, like I said, we have numbers from two given points, e.g., e.g., point A, B. So, we have one numbers from two given points, e.g., Point A, B. Now, what we are going to do is just draw any straight line of your choice. Draw a straight line of your choice. Draw a straight line of your choice. Mark a point. This is point A. This is point B. Place your compass at point A. Make sure that the radius of the compass is more than half of line AB. More than half. Make sure it's more than half. This should be more than half. Then you cut an arc down. Cut an arc up. Take it back to point B. Point B. You cut an arc up. Point B. Then you cut an arc down. 
Now, mark the intersection. Mark the intersection. Use your ruler and join these points. Use dotted line because we are dealing with locus. Use dotted lines. This is L1. Now, L1, it means locus L1. Now, what we have just done is we have bisected line AB into two equal parts. Now, if you want to check, measure from place your compass at A to this line is the same thing as from this line to B. So that means we have bisected line AB into two equal parts. That is what we call locus from two given points. Now, the next one is locus from the repeated point. Locus from the repeated point. Now, locus from a repeated point. E.g., we have AB and BC. You find out that point B is repeated. A, B, and B, C. Point B is repeated. Now, draw any triangle of your choice. This is a triangle. Then you level it A, B, C. Draw any triangle of your choice. Now, since point B is repeated, it means you are going to bisect angle B. So, place your compounds at B. Then you cut and add this side, cut and add this side, extend the radius of your compounds, place it at this place, you cut and arc, take it back here, you cut and arc. Then you now mark the intersection, then you now use your ruler, join from B, use dot, use, using dotted lines. So this is L2, locus L2, L2, since point B is repeated, so we bisect and B. Now, the top one is locus from a fixed point, locus from a fixed point, locus from a fixed point. Now, locus from a fixed point, e.g., we have 3.5 cm from B. Now, you are going to draw any triangle of your choice. This is a triangle. A, B, C. Now, since it is 3 cm from B, we are going to use our ruler and our compounds, they will measure, will measure 3.5 cm. Measure it 3.5 cm. Now, this is 3.5 cm. Then you now place it at B, point B. Then you draw a cycle with it. Draw a cycle with it. So this is 3.5 cm. L3, locus L3. So the 3.5 cm, you place it at B, you draw a cycle. So that is locus from a fixed point. Now, lastly, we have what we call cycle cycle. Cycle cycle. That is part of the basic concept. Cycle cycle, which is circumscribe. Circumscribes. Now, what we mean by cycle cycle or circumscribes? It is a cycle that touches all the three sides. Of if this is a triangle. This is a triangle. You have A, B, C. 
So the cycle cycle is going to be a cycle that will touch point A, point B, point C. So now in cycle cycle, what you do is you bisect BC, you can bisect BC, AB if you like, AC, BC, you can bisect any two sides. So let's bisect BC. So place our compounds at B. Make sure that the radius of our compounds is more than the BC. We cut and add this way. We cut and add this way. Take it back to C. Cut and add. We cut and add. Then mark the intersection. Mark the intersection. Then you now join. Use dotted lines. Use dotted lines. Dotted lines. So this is L1. Now we have now bisected line BC into two equal parts. We can check from B to this line is the same thing as from this is from B to this line is the same thing as from this line to C. So we have bisected B into two equal parts, BC. Now we can bisect A B if you like, we bisect A C. So let's bisect A B. Make sure that the radius of your compass is more than half of my AB. Then you cut and add this way, cut and add this way. Take it back to A. Cut and add this way. Then you cut and add this way. Then you mark the intersection. Mark the intersection. Then you now use ruler. Join. Use dotted lines. Use dotted lines. So this is L2, the second locus. Now you find out that there is an intersection between locus L1 and locus L2. This is the intersection here. So you can level it O. So O is the center of the cycle. OA is the radius of the cycle. So from O to A is the radius of the cycle. OC is also radius of the cycle. OB is also radius of the cycle. So place your compounds at point O, point O to point A. It's the same thing as from point is the same thing as to point C. Is the same thing as to point B. Then you draw your cycle. Draw your cycle. Now you see the cycle touches point A. Point B, point C. So this is what we call cycle, cycle or cycle sky. So for now, this is where we are going to stop. So with this, you can now start your construction properly. So this is just the basis to construction. Thank you very much for this thing. If you need any, if you have any challenge. This is my WhatsApp number 070-8469-6583 Or if there is anything you think you can send, send through my email It's chojejosh at gmail.com Thank you